Hey guys, it's Marika, Melton Public Library, and I'm back with you today for week two of nonfiction books. So here we go. The first book that I'm bringing you today is a graphic novel autobiography. So um, this book is called Chunky, and it is by Yehindi Mercado. Um, so this story is about the author growing up and um, he had a condition when he was younger and he had to have one of his lungs removed. So um, because of this, his family really worries for his health. And um, in this story, he is quite overweight and um, his family wants him to be more active. Um, and so they really try to get him into trying all of these different sports and stuff. Um, but every time he tries a new sport, he gets injured because he's very accident prone. And then he has to go to the emergency room and it's just more money that his family has to pay. And they're not um, very well to do. So it's really like um, a burden on the family and it's a burden on him because it's not sports isn't what he likes to do. What he really likes to do is make people laugh and he really wants to be in the theater program. Um, but I know that it still happens now sometimes, but back when he was younger, it was really, you know, that sort of stuff was not um, very masculine. And, um, so he's convinced to play football instead of going into the theater program, which is, you know, um, really upsetting. So it's really just about him, um, coming to terms with, um, the sort of hand that he's been dealt in life and try to figure out his familial situation. And it's just a really wonderful graphic novel. Um, again, that's Chunky, and it is by Yuhindi Mercado. The next book that I am bringing you is called I Am Not a Label, uh, 34 Disabled Artists, Thinkers, Athletes, and Activists from past and present. Um, this is by Carrie Burnell. Um, this book is a great introduction to disability representation, which is really super important. Um, they include a wide, this book includes a wide range of physical, mental, and um, invisible and chronic conditions. And it, this book also profiles um, a really inclusive group of people, um, people from all sort of backgrounds, um, the BIPOC population, you know, LGBT people. So there's just really everyone in here and different conditions. Um, all of the people in this book um, are, this book is filled with like little sort of biographies profiling all of these people and the really super extraordinary things that they have um, done uh, because of and or in spite of their disability, which is just really amazing. So again, that is I Am Not a Label, 34 Disabled Artists, thinkers, athletes, and activists from past and present. And that book is by Carrie Burnell. The next book that I have for you today is The Voice That Changed a Nation, Marian Anderson and the Struggle for Equal Rights. And this book is by Russell Freedom. So Marian Anderson uh, was a really amazing singer. Singing was her absolute passion. Um, but because she was black, she was prevented from singing in most places. And uh, it was, she was prevented from like fully pursuing her passion. Um, so this book, is her biography and then also um, equal rights like intertwined together because that became her fight. Um, she was so strong about her passion that she was willing to do whatever it took. And um, through her, she uh, 
honestly changed the whole country in their views, um, which is pretty amazing, especially considering um, I've never heard of her before and maybe y'all have heard of her, but um, I had never heard of her, uh, which is pretty sad because she did really amazing things. Um, so she found herself facing all of these struggles throughout her career, but she then, because she fought so hard, was able to fulfill her dream, which is super amazing. Um, and she ends up singing at the Lincoln Memorial Concert, which is super amazing. It's just a really great book about a woman who we should all know about. And, um, unfortunately probably do not. So that book is The Voice That Changed a Nation, Marian Anderson and the Struggle for Equal Rights, and it is by Russell Friedman. I think I said freedom before, but it's Friedman. Um, that would be a really cool name though, Russell Freedom. So, all right. The last book that I have for you today um, is the Great and Only Barnum, uh, The Tremendous Stupendous Life of Showman P.T. Barnum, and this is by Candace Fleming. So I absolutely um, love the idea of old-timey circuses. Now I know, you know, animals, all that stuff shouldn't be in circuses, and um, but just the idea of the old timey circuses. I always wanted to run away, um, but I was not born in the right time. But this is the epitome of the man who literally created it all. And um, if you've watched The Greatest Showman, that's a little bit of his story, but there's literally so much more. So Barnum was not a perfect person because that doesn't exist. Um, but he was really, really exceptional. Um, and let's be honest, crazy, because it takes both to do amazing things. Um, he was really amazing businessman, showman, um, visionary, and imaginative. He just, you know, again, that's all kind of crazy. Uh, so he experienced so much and he truly changed a whole industry um, as well as literally changed people's lives. So he took these, um, these oddity, these people who had some sort of condition or physical amorality or, you know, um, just difference in some way and he gave them a platform. I know now that sometimes we think of it as that they were like um, uh, showcased in like a wrong way, but he gave a lot of these people actual um, like purpose. Uh, we did not treat people who were different very, very well, uh, not too long ago. And he gave these people purpose and an income and um, adventure, which is super amazing, along with them, for the most part, having a really, really great time. Um, so it also gave them the opportunity to like educate people that there wasn't anything, you know, like crazy about them just because they were different in some way. Um, so he also reinvented the idea of a museum and he created the um, traveling circus, which I wish that um, in some way they still existed like that. But he also made people happy. He genuinely made people happy, which is probably one of the greatest gifts that you could ever have. But while doing all of that, he abandoned his family um, and you know, he probably was very selfish in his pursuits. Um, as most artists and visionaries are very selfish in their pursuits. Um, unfortunately, uh, he was creative all the way up until the day he died. Even after he retired, he got really bored and couldn't sit still. Um, this book really just 
brings out everything and it's super super amazing and this is a really really um great story about a really great uh person and a sort of fun little niche in a piece of history um during a time that mayhaps was not the greatest so that is the great and only barnum the tremendous stupendous life of showman P.T. Barnum, and it is by Candace Fleming. All right, those are my week two books. Um, I hope that you want to read them all, or at least one of them. Um, it is now March, which means it's almost summer, um, which is my favorite time of the year, and we are finishing up our summer planning here. We have lots of fun things going on. Um, I do want to put out there that I am going to be having a book discussion group um, this summer that will be meeting two times a month that I'm really excited about. So if that's something that you're interested in, um, give us a call or stop in and ask about it. Um, and yeah, we will be putting some information about that out soon. But as for spring, we do have a couple of programs coming up um, and kind of keeping it chill for the spring. So, but we always have things going on in the spark also. So stop in and hang out in the spark and that'll be awesome. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.